morning and welcome to my very very first day ever full day here in Disneyland Paris <sighs> yeah I'm still in disbelief a little bit I arrived late last night if you've seen that travel vlog it's up on my channel just now it was a late night last night I have woke up I am showered just now uh, and it is about half past ten in the morning I do have breakfast included in my package here that finished at 11, so I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might go in quickly and grab something just to make it worthwhile, of course. But yeah, looks like a beautiful day. I'm going to show you the view just now, and then I'm going to go on my way to my very first day here in Disneyland Paris. I think I'm going to go to the Disneyland Park. That's the plan. Like I said yesterday in the travel vlog, I'm just kind of winging it. I, I, it's my first time. I haven't booked anything. I haven't... Um, done a lot of research because I want to experience it on my own and learn from this experience and enjoy it and just go for it. I am travelling myself so I can just do that and uh, go with the flow. So that's the plan. Always look at this view. So if you haven't seen my video from yesterday, I am staying at the Cheyenne Hotel. I am in the Billy the Kid section which is just next to the lobby. And I'm pretty sure I've seen horses in there this morning because last night I was wondering what that area was and this is my view so there's the bank which is like Starbucks general store you've got the Red Carter Saloon which is like a bar and you've got the Chuck Wagon which I believe is my breakfast is but it's a, a cafe restaurant Really, really a beautiful day this morning. So yeah, I, you, oh, yeah, I am going to get on my way out of this room and go have an awesome day, day one, um, here in Disneyland Paris. So join me today and let's have some fun. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Try and get some breakfast. If not, we'll go to the park. Let's get out of the room. There is the coffee machine. That's the one I was trying to get near last night, but I couldn't get anywhere near it because it was busy. Seeming in here. It's just awesome. Look at this. I covered most of it last night, but the sheriff badges, the horseshoes. So cool. So I am wearing trousers. Can't see the seat there. I've got this bag. And uh, hopefully, it's still warm, but if I come back and change, then I need to come back and change, but. Sorry, I had to cut that off quickly there <laughs> because I had somebody running in towards the door towards me. This is the walk, so it's a 15 minute walk. So there's, just walked out that, that door myself. This is the walk to the park. I'm just showing you quickly how we're coming, coming this way. Look at this steaming. Look at this. This is so cool. Hey, I'm going to go and see what time is it just now. It is 25 to 11. I'm going to see if I can get some breakfast. Let's go to the chuck wagon. It does look very busy still. Look at this. Get Woody and Jesse. Hey, let's see if I can get food. So yeah, it's kind of late for me to get breakfast. They start taking a lot of stuff away. But also I'm going to get some sausages, beans and eggs. Now I'm going to enjoy that. Well, I had to rush my breakfast, but it was really good. I'm going to head back out now and head to the park. I us walk to the park. The theming in here is absolutely awesome. I'm not going to lie, it's really good. The food was good, but I had to be rushed, so I couldn't really record much. I'm going to head back out through the lobby. Well, that was the chuck wagon. 
I couldn't really record much in there because I was in a rush to try and get something to eat, so sometimes it takes time just to kind of get my bearings and find what I'm doing because that's the first time I've been there. So I had to do deal with all that and try and get something to eat and get myself out because the food would disappear. I've also got a coffee. I went to the Starbucks and got a coffee. But now I start, start walking to the park, cannot wait to see what Disneyland Park in Paris has to offer. Let's start walking. So just next to the entrance to where I am staying is a sign saying walkway. Disneyland Park, Walt Disney Studios, Disney Village, it's a 15 minute walk. I'm going to enjoy a nice little walk, nice day, got my coffee, what more could you ask for? Look at this. I have not taken my hay fever tablet, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Fort Apache. Fort Apache is like a little play area for young ones. Can't record that for obvious reasons. So I'm going to go this way, looks like it, and follow this path. So if you do follow me, of course, I do go to Walt Disney World often and I have been going a lot. So I'm not going to try and compare both of them. I'm going to use this experience in its own and treat Disneyland Paris in its own way, its own experience. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, trying, I'm not going to compare so far the weather. It's nice. It's not as humid as Florida, but it's very, very nice. And the setting. I don't know what's going on here. Is this pathway closed? <laughs> Maybe I cannot go this way. So that's all blocked off. So. I'm going to have to go back up this way, that's another path. I am back in the main bit that I was, I walked off it and came back in, hopefully that makes sense. Back into the kind of resort. There, you can take, that's where the, the horses you can walk up and down and get a ride on a pony, I'm going to guess. Yeah, animal's not my strong point. I'm going to guess that's where the path is. That's where I go. This is why I wanted to do it. I don't want to know everything I'm learning as I go. It says there on that sign, Parks, Disney Village. So, this looks to be the right way. Hardware store. The theming is, look at that little park there. I will do more coverage and walking around the resort. Maybe catch it on the last day before I leave, but let's go this way, there's a few barriers out. So here we go, this is where I'm staying. And that's the arrow telling me to go to the park. So let's walk, I think it's about a 15 minute walk it said there. I'm just gotta take my time and get to the other side. Get some sort of waterway, get canal, waterway along the pathway here. Don't know if there's any boats and whatnot that go back and forth to the park. Does that happen here? In Disneyland Paris? I haven't seen anything or heard anything but you can just see it there. The water. No alligators, hopefully. So I would say not even 10 minutes and I have reached this point. This looks like the new Marvel Hotel, just with the character and the statue at the front. But yeah, so far I've walked about 10 minutes and this is where I am. It's uh, I kind of right into the hustle and bustle so far. So the Hotel New York is pretty much on a doorstep. right in the middle of all the action, but look at this. I was thinking about staying here, 
the weather has got a better deal. 10 minute walk, if even that, that way. So let's keep exploring. I think Iron Man is one of the best views right now. Look at that for a view. I've yet to see my first Disney Paris duck. So I'm on the lookout for that as well. So yeah, this is really really cool. It's really really relaxing. Chilled out. Kind of vibe here. Just look at that view. I said Iron Man. Got the hotel in the background. Even got the statue of the Black Panther here, look at that. These are massive. I don't know if the video's doing it any justice. So I'm gonna go through security now, which is just to the left of me, and get into one of the parks. Oh, I genuinely can't believe I am walking down towards Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris. Cannot believe this. Look at this. It's busy, but I don't care. This is amazing. Feeling right now. Oh, the music, the smells, oh, the vibe. I have arrived at Disneyland Park. This is just. I don't know, I'm lost for words. I'm trying to. Think of words that I don't really use, like amazing and fantastic, but this is just awesome. It is very, very different to Walt Disney World so far, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm not going to compare it, so I'll try and keep that to the side, but this is, yeah, feels really, really, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to think. It's a very special feeling to be here right now. Look at the Mickey clock. And look at that sign. Hey, I need to get inside. I could just stand out here all day. Let's go in and have some fun. Especially in. Oh. Okay, time to go in. Time to go in. First ever time. Totally different vibe. I'm just trying to go all in, so apologies for the silence, but I'm in awe and I can see the castle. I can see the castle. <laughs> towards the castle. I'm doing it. I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to go to the castle. I'm going for it. Oh. Down Main Street. I don't even know what it's called Main Street. Is it called Main Street? Oh, that's, honestly, this... Uh, 
It's just very, very different, but very similar. There's a Casey's Corner here. Casey's Corner. Go further. I may have to try Casey's Corners here and do. Like I said, I'm not going to compare, but I compare food. Can't compare the parts, totally different its own. I'm getting closer to the castle. I'm going towards this castle. Still can't quite believe I am standing at the castle here at Disneyland Park. Look at this. Oh, what's going on here? I'm still in awe. Again, that was not planned. I just wanted to see the castle up close. I have heard there's like a dragon under the castle you can see, but I don't know if that's it close. So I have heard that before. a good day. So yeah, I'm going to get inside the castle and then if you've watched my videos before like in Orlando and Florida Walt Disney World I'm going to walk around the park outside like, as in not go in or on any rides just now. I'm going to walk around the park basically take in the vibe and then get on some rides. So let's go and do that. Still can't believe it. I'm actually here. I will keep saying that every two minutes, just so you all know. Yeah, let's go for a walk around the park. I'm going to walk under the castle. It's a small world, looks absolutely awesome here. Look at the facade on this. singing that song all day. But if I'm doing the last thing, I'll be sleeping in it. Oh, I'm sleeping, I'll be singing it. So I've walked through the castle, round the back, seen it's a small world. I'm up on this kind of high level platform, having a look at this for a view for the castle. But I believe there's a little show or festival going to start shortly, so let's go and get a place for that and watch that before continuing my walk around. Such a great vibe here. Very, very kind of classic vibe. Very pretty, if that makes sense. Right, let's go and see what this show is. Let's all smell bigger, open our hearts, and believe in our dreams.
actually really enjoyed that parade. That was that was really good. The way it was set up in the middle there, how all the characters came off the floats and interacted and had different routines, all the different music as well, all different tracks. Really, really fun parade. I'm going to continue my adventure that way. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this so far. Let's go and explore and discover Discovery Land. Hyperspace Mountain just looks incredible. <laughs> How awesome does that look? It's not a bad way either. 30 minute wait, 25 minute single rider. So I'm not going to go on any rides just now, I'm just taking it all in, getting my bearings and taking in the Disneyland Paris kind of spirit and vibe. So we've got the Hyperspace Mountain which we'll have a look at. We've got Utopia, which is taking a ride in the cars. And you've got a uh, Alberta. And we've got Buzz Lightyear's laser blast. It's a cool little area here, which I'm going to come back to. See what I can get on later on. But it is one o'clock just now, so I'm going to go and keep walking. See what else there is. See what else is going on. I'm really looking forward to getting on some rides. So leaving Discovery Land, we're going to head this way, right across the centre, where we watch the parade, and where you can see the castle. We're going to go right across here, straight on, straight forward, to, I think it's Adventureland. Just over there. Now you just look at this. I might freak out if Captain Jack Sparrow turns up. Just just saying. Right. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's only a 25 minute wait. And I'm going to wait in the queue and get on this ride. Why not?
ces breloques et ces colifichets Un véritable trésor Hé hey, Rendez-les au kilo, capitaine I'm glad I went on it, it was a 25 minute wait and the theming's great, the queue and of course the ride Where else can we go and let's go for a walk for a walk into Adventure Isle I'm guessing a lot of adventures you can actually walk into Skull Rock walking up some steep stairs <laughs> so you can actually come up and look through Skull Rock. Wow. Look at that. How cool is that? This is what I love. Some people have thrown in some pennies there as well. If you can see some lucky pennies. There you go. Skull Rock. This is what I like to just I mean I like to be immersed and walk around and see all this kind of detail. And then jumping on rides. Right, let's continue the adventure. Here's a closer look at the ship. I'm intrigued. Spyglass Hill and Point Suspender. I'm guessing that's that up there. There we go over the bridge. Oh, gee, it really moves. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm 
got to go back over it. Oh. <laughs> it's a weird, weird feeling. My legs were still moving even though I was standing stationary. I got off. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Right, let's get back down the stairs. I'm going to go on Indiana Jones Temple of the Peril. Temple of Peril. Cannot take the camera on. So, I'm going to put the camera away. I'm going to go on this ride. It's only a 15 minute wait. And I'll see you on the other side. I was not expecting that to go upside down in a loop. Well, that was an amazing roller coaster. Very, very short. Sweet. And I was not expecting that loop. Now I'm going into Frontierland. See what's going on. Yeah, let's go for a trip on Molly Brown. Just wait, Diamond. Take it on. So let's see what we can see. What's going round on Molly Brown? <laughs> and we are off. Full speed ahead. And then Molly Brown.
bateau, c'est-à-dire côté Big Thunder Mountain, qui sont les plus faciles d'accès. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching Thunder Mesa Riverboat Landing and the end of our journey. Would all passengers on the upper decks kindly start your descent? Put me on the route to go in. Prepare to go ashore. I need to go in on the line. Look at that. The stairs on the port side. That's the Big Thunder Mountain side of the boat. Well, thank you, Molly Brown. You have convinced me to go to Haunted Mansion. I need to get in this Haunted Mansion. One of my favourite rides. And Molly Brown. It was really cool. Again, different. Everything seems to be very different with a slight hint of uh, something similar, which I know sounds really, really strange. Right, Haunted Mansion thing. Thirteen minutes? That can't be that can't be right. Thirteen minutes for the haunted mansion. That's looking at a walk on. That's very spooky. So just now it is only 10 past 4. So let's see what else we can see or get on. So I'm going to leave Frontierland. I looked at a big Thunder Mountain. It was a 55 minute wait. So I'm not going to wait that long. That parade is back on again behind me. So 
got myself a water. Got a water. I'm going to go and see if I can get on the, the railroad and go around the park. I'm not sure how long the wait is to get on the railroad, Disneyland railroad. But I'm going to join the queue anyway because I'd like to see what's going on around the park. I love the one in Orlando and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this one as well, so let's go on. Let's see, it's a 20 minute wait until the next train or until I get on one. I might catch the parade coming back the way. Look at that for a view. Took a change of events. <laughs> I was told to board a certain carriage, and when I went to board it, a certain family did not want me to go on with them, and started screaming at me in French. So, yeah, I just I was kind of an awkward situation. Staff did try to put me in another carriage, but I just not went on the train. I just left. It was kind of pretty poor, to be honest. So yeah, I'm not going to go on the train. Unfortunately, I waited nearly half an hour there, and yeah, kind of disappointing. Well, I had to go for a walk there just to calm myself down because I wasn't expecting that to happen. To be honest, that was that was totally bizarre. I had to take myself out of that situation in case, obviously, anything got worse. But basically, when you get put on the, the train, they put you in the cabs. Before you go on, they ask you how many part, how many of you, party-wise, and obviously I'm just myself. I was asked to go into a cab with a, a family, and then they, yeah, they just they they wanted the cab to themselves. And that was it. So I am back at Discoveryland. I'm not going to let that ruin my day of course, so I'm going to continue the adventure for myself and see what else I can get up to. Yeah. 
Tommy Robertson does take a walk up have a look around their home see how it's view so it's coming up for about 20 to 7 believe it or not and I'm still fighting through it so I haven't really had any snacks, have any food I think I'll need to think about having something to eat soon Come on, a little walk. You see how the Swiss family Robinson are doing here in Paris. Who needs food? And I've got this buffet. You must have been expecting me. Got a jungle lookout. We can use spot from the jungle lookout. Halfway up the Swiss family Robinson tree. Oh, pigeon. Oh, pigeon fighting. Paris pigeon. Paris pigeon. Oh, jeez. Paris pigeons are aggressive. It'll be interesting to see how many steps. I do here at Disneyland Paris. I think I'm at the top now. Where am I? I don't think I am actually. Get music playing. I was the top. It's just the bedroom. I could stay here. I could. Yeah. It's the best. Best room in the house. Best room in the park. I could definitely stay here, I think. Let's keep climbing. See a little hidden Mickey there on the lantern. It's just a crow's nest. We've got some hammocks there. I don't think I'd fit in the hammocks. So that was the highest point. There were the high hammocks. Now heading down. I know that food's not real, but it's very tempting right now. I do want to try a Disney Paris pizza. I need to have a look out for that. And that's it, short and sweet. That's the end of the Swiss Family Robertson tour. I think my plan is to leave the park just now. I might come back in. I'm going to have a look see what food there is outside. Yes, I am leaving, but the plan is to try and get back in. I think it's going to be an L of sandwich night. Maybe get a pizza tomorrow, but let's go in and get something, some food and just a sit and relax. Oh, I got a big meatball sub. Cannonball. Relax here. 
Can you count how many steps I've done? <laughs> so let's open this up. Let's get a good look at cannonballs. So I need two hands for this. Well, will you look at this? So obviously can't the cannonballs are his meatballs. Cheese. Meatballs and cheese, I think it is. That's it. Well, that looks good. Hopefully. It tastes as good as it looks. There we go. Mm. That was all bread. That was all bread. Right, come on. This time, meatballs. I think that was just sauce. Just some meatball. Let's try and go for that one. That is really good. That's so good. The sauce is really good. It's really fresh. It's not just like a, like a bolognese sauce. It's, it's well made. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. And enjoy this too. I don't think you'll get a better view in a restaurant at Disney than this. That was really, really nice, in my opinion, worth every euro, nearly said cent there, <laughs> but that was a packet of crisps, a water and a large uh, meatball, cannonball sandwich, uh, and that was 18, 18 euro, 50 cents, I call it. is that what you call um, so 18 euro 50, Wor worth it in my opinion. Very filling. But yeah, I think I am going to call it a day at the parks. I'm a little bit sunburned as well. Don't know why that always happens to me, even though I put sun cream on. So yeah, it's been a warm day. Yeah, I'm going to sit and chill for five minutes and then I'm going to head back to the hotel. It is about eight o'clock just now. I don't think I'm going to make the fireworks. I might do that tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. But just now, I'm going to relax and then I'm going to head back to the hotel shortly. So I have left the parks and Disney Village. I'm going to walk back to my resort, my hotel. Get some snacks, get some drinks. Head back to the room. And then we can recap today. And just like that. Literally just like that. I am back. Look at that for a welcome home. To my resort, taxidermy. <laughs> That's me back to the resort. Only a five minute walk, really. Just look at the theming and the detail as I walk down this street in this resort. <laughs> there we go. I am just about next to my building, however. I am going to get some water from my room, some snacks and then head back to the room and we can recap, like I say, on today's events and my first time at Disneyland Park. Back to the room, this is going to be slightly awkward because I have snacks. What's going on here? My card is not working. Oh no, hey, two minutes. It's always me. My card is not working to get into my room and I'm trying to balance snacks and juice and whatnot. I need to walk back to the lot to the lobby reception to 
fix my card. I will hopefully get this fixed quickly and then get back to the room. Here we go. Round two. Come on. Yes, we have access to my room. Right. Ooh, and it's been cleaned, even though I left. Pretty not late-ish. Yeah, so I got snacks, got water, these things, biscuits, chocolate biscuits. So two two bottles of water, two bottles of coke, biscuits. To give you in perspective, that cost me more. That was just under 20 euro for two bottles of water, two bottles of coke, and that. Absolute madness. But yeah. That's where that's where that's where we're at. That's where I am. Right, I'm gonna chill, relax for a couple of minutes, and then we can recap of today's events. Some of it eventful, and a lot of it mainly enjoyable. So I had a great day. So yeah, let's put the stuff down. Put the catch up soon. I'm not gonna lie down in the bed just now because I will just fall asleep. Um, I was hoping to make the fireworks tonight, but I just can't do it. I just can't push myself through it. I don't know what it is. I think it was just all the excitement. Really, really full on day. And the back of my head is I don't want to cram it all in because I think that ruins it for me as well. Because I'm just doing things for the sake of doing things and not enjoying it. Uh, I always got tomorrow uh, as well. So, and yeah, I can try and do that as well. Maybe have a long lie tomorrow again and then go later on, maybe come back to the hotel and then go back out again, maybe try that. So yeah, different options, but I just don't want to overdo it because I feel as if I need to try and do everything while I'm here and I'm, I don't want to do that because then I won't enjoy it. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. That was my first day, as you all know. Some eventful things happened, um, but I really enjoyed it. Everything, Pirates of the Caribbean, Really, really love the smell, everything about it. Uh, uh, it's just uh, Indiana Jones, that roller coaster, wow. Uh, not a lot of theming on the roller coaster and throughout the roller coaster, but I was taken back with the loop. There's actually when you go upside down on that coaster, so very, very short roller coaster, but loved that. That was really, really cool uh, and just really awesome to be in that park. A few parades and, uh, and whatnot, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember everything that I've done because I've covered quite a lot and yeah, I just, I, just like, I just like walking through the parks and taking it all in, soaking the atmosphere, getting onto a few rides, that's enough for me and I really enjoyed my first day there, so yeah. On that note, I'm going to relax, I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. Hopefully you enjoyed my day one here in Disneyland Paris. You know what to do if you want to see the future videos and support my channel. Hit subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. Um, my social media is down below as well, Instagram and stuff, if you want to follow me for up-to-date, kind of live up-to-date stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for all for watching all the way through if you have. Thank you for the support as always. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.